Okay, welcome back, guys. I've been working a little bit on some of the stuff I said I was going to do, so let me just give you a little bit of where we've been, what we've been doing, um, and still not building a house this episode, but that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> in this episode so far is i mean clearly you saw all of these goodies you know in the last one we've got plans for this whole area i know i said i was going to be building um my barn there however we have an idea of trees and a different situation here and then over here i'm going to make like build this up a little bit more and make this kind of a waterfall into this little pond um, but the skelly horse situation barn is actually going to go over here now. Now ignore my trees growing here. <laughs> I will chop these back and kind of deal with it in a minute. Um, but I think this section is actually pretty perfect for a huge ribcage bone structure situation kind of barn for my skelly horses. Not much else has changed up here since the last episode. All the changes have kind of been more so down here. And I don't know how I feel about this purple block here. Um, so this may not stay, but I just wanted to like, I think I'm going to actually end up like, um, what do you call it? Like putting a perimeter around each section of tree that I want spawning. Just because I still wanted to be able to have, like, a space for all of my trees to grow. You know, chop them for wood. I don't have a plan and haven't finished leveling out all of this right here. However, this goes down to a pretty substantial cave system. Um, just like on the other side of our base, we have that. But what I have been working on, as you can tell, I am not quite done yet, has been slapping this out like I said. I've got, you know, these situations to fix. And then I've been going around and I've started kind of dealing with the roof just to make it be something other than dirt and be that dark. So we're going to end up covering the entire roof in with wood, which um, big reason why we have all these oak trees growing. But once I finish that, we'll kind of drape chandeliers and stuff down to light it up more so I could get rid of this hot mess of torches. Um, I made myself a little spot out and I'm going to kind of transition that around a bit. Um, but in here, I have it blocked off, but this also leads out to like another cave situation down in that way so eventually going to make kind of a doorway for that still have to finish this still have to kind of deal with this i don't know what kind of blocks i'm gonna end up putting around the edges um and so basically then this whole space still major work in progress this whole space right here I want to eventually put other farms in. Like, I want to make a squid farm. I don't know how much space I need for that, so that might actually be coming right here in this little spot. So I have a little more height to mess with that. And then I need to figure out kind of like a better way to... Like, this one's fine grabbing this here. But I'm starting to get away because I've dug down, you know, from here down two or three blocks. Same with this. I used to be standing right next to this. I still have it running right now. Same thing with my bees. I have to go up. I'm growing and spreading mushrooms, trees, all that goodies over here. So that's what I've been working on. Everything, like I said, still work in progress because I have dirt staircase and I've just been messing with this and ignored <laughs> the steps. I will fix those but just been trying to find ways to come up over here. And then kind of like the only other things I've really worked on so far is kind of spreading this out more with the regular obsidian, crying obsidian. And I believe this is just basalt. 
it. The next thing I did, which I said I was going to do tinted glass right here, um, I just have a waterfall coming down and I'm gonna kind of make that whole situation look a little nicer. But I wanted it to kind of come down this way to be able to fill in this space under here. Still have some more ideas about flooding this section out a bit more. I need to make a retaining wall kind of over here before I could do that so it doesn't flood in the whole cave down there. And then I still have to work on this path. Um, this will be coming immediately after I finish uh, my storage area. So I want to just show you that really quick. So that's about as far as I've gotten so far with like improvements of stuff. So I used to have this little situation set up over um, here. It used to be kind of right here set up with the dripstone and the lava coming down. Um, but now it's here with the orange glass. That way, you know, never ending fuel. So I could just come over here and go scoop, scoop, ready to use that as my fuel source, which is awesome. And then <laughs> this, which you saw in replay, is going to be my storage situation which yes it's long and this end comes out over here up into kind of red's base area so plan to kind of like decorate this entrance eventually more i haven't even finished building all of this out yet um, but this is the idea of kind of everything that i'm going for kind of right here so just like minimal Decoration, I do plan to like sprinkle lighting in here a different way. I don't exactly know how yet. That's still kind of up in the air. So I have a few ideas on this and it's going to take some time, but I have, you know, not only villagers that sell me the bookshelves, I have a ton of books and then we have the, um, vanilla tweaks where we can smelt rotten flesh into leather so and i have a sugar cane farm which you guys saw down there and know of so i kind of have unlimited bookshelves plus i think like three or four of my villagers sell them and i really just like the look of this now right here in my idea kind of going down this whole thing I'm gonna eventually change the floors, like I said, major work in progress right now, right now. But this main hallway is for like the basic overworld blocks down this side and items down this side. And then I plan to right here and right here. And then again, you know, further down, probably like right here and right here cut back into their own rooms and then I have it marked by this like I said floor will be different but this will be marked here and this is going to signify my cave lush cave situation obviously barrels same kind of idea in here but just to have it tucked away this side you know I'll chop through create a room I think I'm gonna make different ones for like the end blocks the nether blocks like all the end items so like coarse flower coarse fruit and stone make one like a little slit of a room and make it all of the nether related things like blaze rods everything to do with the nether i debated taking it so far because like here's my sand i debated taking it so far as to being like cutting out a room right here making it all the desert things cutting out a room right here making it all the dark oak cutting out a room right here you know what I mean like just going on and on but I don't know 100% on that yet so far but this clearly not finished but this is my work in progress of kind of my storage area and I just wanted it to be another way to kind of go through the mountain we're kind of destroying this mountain a little bit um not destroying just altering because we also you know, have the different paths to get through it with the rail cart system, which, you know, has always kind of been over here 
and then we're making another one through more up over there somewhere through our walking path that we had that's kind of between the two villager houses that is up over here we have another walking path that kind of goes directly right here behind this house to walk through so we're kind of going to connect everything via rail system and yeah that's kind of where everything is at as far as right now goes hopefully and my goal in this episode is to actually finish everything that is down below as well as up above into up into my little storage sitch that we got going on over there still gotta finish the villager situation over there finish everything that is down below here and i think I think those are my main big goals um, to kind of finish in this episode because I don't want to be taking on too much. It's kind of a running meme situation now, to be honest, that I'm going to leave building my house till the last episode of this season. And I kind of almost love that enough to just do that. Um, maybe that'll just be a thing for me because I care more clearly about landscaping and the vibe versus having a house to live in up here because i really don't care about sleeping out here in a bed i'd rather have a cool storage set up rather have you know my villagers um of course you know big project is to get a home for all my skelly boys which is down there and yeah but here are all the replays of everything that I did to get to this point, of everything that I just actually showed you in the intro, but I still enjoy the replays. But that's actually where we are going to end this episode with this beautiful rainbow behind us. Kind of got a chance to go over everything. Was able to make some big unseen underground and storage room progress. But I feel really good about everything that I did underneath. Still have to finish slabbing it out. But I'm getting there. And then all of our progress that was made up here in our storage room getting our enchantment area set up a little more finalized and you can even see behind me right here the path that i've started to try to make up around to get you know to the storage area and have everything better um but again just gonna take some time currently working on it and really loving where everything is kind of going but in the next episode, it is and has to be all about these guys right here behind me. I'm going to set up their barn, 
but please make sure that you check out everyone else's channel linked below, and I will see you guys in the next Holocraft episode. Thanks for watching! Bye!